Hello, and welcome to ne Let's Play Neo, episode 21, The Queen's Eyes. Or is it Queen's Eyes? I always forget. One of the two. Queen Elizabeth I of England has died. She very recently died. This is April. She died at the end of March. She was 69 years old. Nice, of course. I don't know too much about Queen Elizabeth. You can learn more about the history leading up to her birth if you watch Tudors on Netflix now. She's not really in it much. She's basically a bait. But we're back in England. For some reason, we're against Ireland and Spain. I'm not sure if Ireland was involved in this war at the time exactly how. I know it is a strange thing in this game that William is Irish, and I'm pretty sure the real William was Welsh. I believe these are notes from when Elizabeth was younger and was imprisoned in the Tower of London. and get out of here. You're a nosy fellow, aren't you? But watch out. You keep your nose in here much longer, you'll wind up like me. Oh, 
baby girl survive this world without me. I can't die. So, that back there was a pirate of some sort who is still loyal to England. We are not so much. Also, get ready to see a familiar face. Although, first we're going to head up here and just take a little peek at something. So, like last time, this area right here is pretty empty. Let's go back to where we fought Derek, the Executioner, the first boss of the game. Also, I switched to the Odachi whenever I'm fighting groups of enemies because it has nice, big, wide attacks that'll hit multiple people at once. And I should have healed. And dodged. But it's right here. I don't even have to edit this part because the run is so short. You can tell I was getting a little bit fed up with this knife. Alright, I believe they're called, when you look at a bloodstain of someone who was killed by one armored soldier. This is where we fought Derek. And just some generic boring gear. I really wish there was something a bit more special there. But it's time to go and find that familiar face. Down here in the basement. It's Derek the Executioner wandering around. He's also uh, much harder here. Even with Sloth's Talisman. One hit and you'll die, generally. He has most of the same moves. He's a bit faster, and like I said, hits a lot harder. So, Derek the Executioner was a real person in history. He was Thomas Derek. He was convicted, and as a part of his conviction, he was ordered to become an Executioner to be spared. I don't know much about him. I don't know if there are too many records of him. I just know that he did exist. Neo really loves to use people from history. Even Edward Kelly, for example. The alchemist we've been dealing with. And if you're confused a little bit why we're here, we are here to find John Dee. William's compass that his guardian spirit gave him. I can never remember how to pronounce her name. Sours? Cersei? It doesn't... It's not pronounced how it looks. So Derek was still stuck on his mission of killing us. 
So we've sort of freed him. But anyway, we're here to find John D. He is the spy master. He was the spy master to Queen Elizabeth. He is the one who orchestrated all of this, who set up uh, Edward Kelly, sent him to Japan to help spark a war, sow dissent, and cause more bloodshed to be spilled, causing more Emery to be formed. John D is the one who wanted to use Amrita to defeat Spain. It was his plan to gather up the pirates and then execute them after they had fulfilled their use. John D, despite just being mentioned last episode, is the actual main antagonist of the game. Edward's, or not Edward, William's compass still points towards John D. Which means things are unfinished. You may remember this from the intro of the game and from the intro to this mission, the portrait of Queen Elizabeth. Also, I should have mentioned earlier, right after we saw it, William is seen transforming similar to how Edward Kelly does. I'm not entirely sure if that's supposed to be saying he has the powers of Edward Kelly now, or if it's just the idea of like the tea house transformations. He can now transform it into looking like other people. Just like you can actually do in the game. I'll be showing that off a little bit later. Also, these damn knights, and they're often just standing there guarding. The placement of shrines is mostly the same from when you originally went through the Tower of London. It's also still so dark it's hard to see. If you notice me just running into a wall, I probably did not realize I was running into a wall for like a split second. Also, all the gear here is very leveled up. The amount of Amrita that enemies drop is very high. This is a pretty good mission if you want to farm Amrita. If you go forward here without breaking these Amrita fiends out, they will break out on their own and you have to fight both at once. As Arkin Black pointed out when talking about Edward Kelly's Emery Defeats, these are similar to Kelly. They have the same sort of alchemical markings on them, same colors. Also, I like to dash face first into these, just get goo all over William. Time for another familiar face. 
Edward Kelly. You see, Edward Kelly was really a homunculus. The real Edward Kelly had died by this point. What we're dealing with are essentially clones of him, created through alchemy by John D. They have all of the same moves as Kelly's... well, not all of them. They can't teleport. They also suffer his same problem of not having a very strong guard and guarding to him. I'm not quite sure how they have his Guardian Spirit, though. Or what that means, if the Guardian Spirit is artificial, or if it was the Guardian Spirit of Edward Kelly in life. Which it could have been, because of Edward Kelly was a very strong believer in the Angels, and, like William's Guardian Spirit, may be born of just faith alone. Now it's time to confront John D. This is Hundred Eyes, the manifestation of John D as a yokai. You can still see some of the features of D, like the parts of his coat that are on the shoulders, the hair on the sides is his hairstyle, the tendrils are a bit similar to how his cloak was, and it's wielding the same staff that John D wields. Hundred Eyes is generally an okay fight, it's not too hard. When he gets low enough on health, he'll summon Emerita to heal him and sit down with a shield around him. You can hit him through it still, but he takes less damage. He'll summon eyes when he does that and they'll fire beams. You want to run around and hoop them up and then just take them out quickly. That's his deadliest attack, is he'll form crystals similar to the Yuki Ona, Lady No. And I can't believe I died to that attack. That was pretty embarrassing. But he'll summon crystals uh, above him. What you want to do is run around him as fast as you can. Also, after you've done this part, you don't need to fight Edward Kelly again or those yokai. You can just run through. If you stand behind him, he can also slam his tendrils back, so watch out for that. He'll use his staff and swing it. 
he'll lay down his tendrils at his sides and fire beams in front of himself. He'll teleport around like Edward Kelly. The teleport doesn't really do much. I don't know why he has it. He does not have too much health. He has no weaknesses. I think he's resistant to poison and paralysis. I'll have to check again. I remember right too, all of the beam attacks cause discord on you. This is his deadliest phase. He'll generally cause the crystals to spawn while the eyes are still attacking you. But like that you can group them up. The eyes when they die can also drop medicine. Despite how he can slam behind himself, Edward Kelly slash Hundred Eyes is really weak from behind. And that's the puppies again. But that was Hundred Eyes. Now do you see the true ending of the game. I also redid the ending with a different outfit to make it look a bit nicer. I should have done this before. But, you'll see I'm wearing something different in the cutscene. That was the true ending to the base game. William's compass no longer points anywhere, and thus his journey has reached its end. We've unlocked New Game Plus, which is called Way of the Strong. There's Way of the Strong, Way of the Demon, Way of the Wise, and then Way of the Neo. I'll show off what I can. Also, we've unlocked the DLC. We'll be going through the DLC and doing it, as well as some of New Game Plus. As you saw before, when William was looking into the orb, you saw Date Masamune and Sanada Yukimura. We'll be dealing with the Date clan and the Sanada clan. We can now enhance Guardian Spirits. We can also have two Guardian Spirits active at once. The second Guardian Spirit gives us a single one of its buffs and a lesser form of it. You still have to have enough spirit to have access to that particular guardian spirit. You can also enhance guardian spirits now. When you enhance a guardian spirit, it increases the buffs it gives William by just a tiny amount but it stacks, and I believe you can level them up to level 40. 
or 30. We will also now be walking the path of the Glamorai. Things aren't over just yet. So be prepared for the Neo LP to continue. But I'm Tolvo, and I'll see you next time in Let's Play Neo, Episode 22.